Hi, everybody. Hey, bro, everybody. How's every little thing in your life? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? Doing good. That's good. It's Jim. And Dave's. Beer Dave. Dave. Yes? Yes, yes? What is on tap for this beer review? Wow, that was said with a bunch of syllables and consonants. I went to the William Shatner thing <laughs> of acting. We've got some beer camp, uh, raspberry Sunday ale, spiced ale. Raspberry Sunday ale. So, um, yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, raspberry, high raspberry beer, Sunday. I don't know if we, have we ever had a beer that said it was like a Sunday. I've had beers on Sunday. I've had beers on Sunday, but this is with Sunday with an E. With an E? A Sunday? You mean like a Sunday with, 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 with ice cream? Right. It says ale brewed with lactose, cocoa, lactose. vanilla, and raspberries. It says here together. Lactose. Is that from like lactating and stuff? No, not with like boobies. <laughs> it says here together we're. I'll grab that woman by her lactate. We're brewing a riff of flavors of classic raspberry ice cream sundae. This beer features raspberry, coca, and vanilla in addition to lactose and unfermentable sugar that unfermentable adds sugar. richness and, and a sweetness helping to blend and meld the flavors of this ultra complex beer together. It's been a true pleasure to work with artists at this brewery, B R U E R Y, using ingredients and techniques outside of our normal wheelhouse. Beer specs: alcohol content or eight percent. Beginning gravity nice. is eighteen. Ending gravity is four. Bitterness is ten. Color is red amber. Uh, yeast is ale. Bittering hops are magnum. Malts are two row pale, wheat, pilsner, flake oats, chocolate. Other is vanilla, coca, raspberry, and lactose. Okay. And the other collaborator is a brewery in, in California. Orange County. Yep. Seven, seven it's famous for its experimental Belgian style and barrel aged beers. And this release fits nicely in their wheelhouse. So you said that. Yep. They give it, they give, um, uh, um, information about the brewery, B R U E R Y. Well, that sounds really good, but we're going to get information from the brewery right brewery. now by drinking. Yes. Let's give it a little look. Looks kind of orangish. Yes. Nice carbonation. Spicy, it says. Well, let's get a little sniff. Can't tell. It it's smells spicy. kind of like uh, what were those orange uh, push things you used to get from the Good Humor truck? What was the name I like those things. Orange, not orange crust. I heard the ice cream man today, matter of fact, it was weird. I love hearing the ice cream man because when I hear it, I'm like, the ice cream man! No, I used to um, like the cones with the red, white, uh, what's, and yellow. What's the name of like the orange ice cream, but it's not ice cream, it's something else? Um, Push pop. Sherbert. No, Sherbert. I used to like Sherbert. I used to get that down the I down think the this kind of smells like orange Sherbert. Really? No. Too spicy for that. Well, I get some vanilla. Lots of vanilla in my nose. A little sweetness, sweet on the nose too. The orange sherbet came up. I don't know why. Okay. What the hell is this called again? The brewery. Raspberry Sunday. That's my raspberry. Raspberry Sunday ale, spiced ale. Okay. Well, cheers. Oh, there's the raspberry right there. There we go. Nice. I like it. I like this. I like this too. Well, I like raspberries and I like raspberry beers. Yeah, I found a recipe once for home brewing. It was basically raspberries and hot peppers. I thought, ooh. Hot peppers. That's a really interesting That'll recipe. Out. Now, the trouble is, if you buy some raspberries in your local supermarket, you're li likely to pay a premium. Although there's some, uh, yeah, you know, those, expensive for, those big for, clubs for. like BJ's or Sam's Club, you can usually get a decent amount and it'd be a little bit least, less expensive. However, a brewing friend of mine told me if you're going to try to brew your own beer, and you want to use raspberries. If you use frozen raspberries, you'll save a lot of money. And you should use a, a, a peptic, I think he said enzyme, to help break that. Peptic? Like pepto -bismol? I may be saying that wrong. Okay. That's what I took away from it. Yeah. But anyway, so I always wanted to try that recipe. A lot of people say good things about it. Mm. 
A little bit of an alcohol burn on the back end, but not too extreme. It's pretty light, very smooth. Uh, this is probably my favorite beer camp we've had so far tonight. Yes, me too. We only had two, but this was my favorite one. Well, it makes it easy that way. Yes, don't it now. <laughs> we should uh, more. Very, very nice. Uh, so I would have to rate this in the fruit beer category. I like raspberry beers. Um, and, you know, I think it's very interesting to me that if you like the fruit, generally you like the beer. Like, I've had apricot beer, but I'm not an apricot fan, so I didn't really like the beer that much. Uh, the other fruits, like grapefruit. I'll eat a grapefruit if I put sugar on it at home. Yeah, like, that's grapefruit right, tasted grapefruit. beer. No, nah, I didn't care too much for it, unless I put sugar in it, which is weird because it really foamed up. But the sugar helped. So, um, but generally I like raspberry, so this is a very good beer. Very good. Very good, mate. Was this one barrel aged, I wonder? I guess they call it raspberry Sunday because so. there is a little bit of a sweetness there, which is interesting, but it's not very Sunday like, except on the nose. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm going to give this uh, both on the fruit scale and on my personal scale. I'm going to give this 8 out of 10. I like I this a lot. I'll give this 7 and a half. Nice. More than a 7, less than an 8, 7 and a half. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe on the general scale that's appropriate, but yeah, on the fruit category, this may actually be a nine. Now. Fruit nine? Wow. Well, have we ever had a ten on the fruit scale? We have had a fruit scale nine. That's... I'm not much of a fruit guy. Well, I would buy this beer if it was in a. Why don't they have pack? orange beers? Never had an orange beer. Well, I've had citrusy beers. Never had an orange beer. I've had apricot. I've had blueberry. I've had raspberry. Well, I've had think, orange beer. I think most of the citric hey, flavor. Orange beer people. Orange beer people, orange beer people. Well, I think the problem with that is what? Generally, you get the citrus flavor from hops, but as far as orange goes, it is a very acidic fruit. I like orange though. I like oranges. I like I like I eat oranges, so why not have orange? Well, I think beer? you have to balance out the pH a little bit for the uh, uh, yeast to be that's able to survive. Do with orange. That's just it's orange chemistry. Is, that's Again, I'm not a full-time brewer. I don't necessarily know. I'm just hypothesizing. 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 I have a hypothesis. I have a, I have a theory, and it's mine. Mine. Anyway, uh, mine listen, I tell you. good collaboration. We're we're about fifty fifty so far in this collaboration series. I'm like, fifty eh, fifty, all right. So it's okay. I like it. Interesting background. I like so it. thank you very much for watching. Listen, it's really good. If you like raspberry beers, you're gonna like this. We recommend you try it. If you don't like fruit beers. I forgot I haven't said anything. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dave, mm -hmm. did you know that women who are pregnant should not drink alcohol beverages due to the risk of birth defects? I know women that You pregnant. should not drink alcohol beverages due to the risk of birth defects, ladies. Ladies? 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 You want to say something creepy, you just put ladies at the end, and then you sign a token. Hello, ladies. Ladies. Mm -hmm. Ladies. You know you want me on top of you. I do it walrus style. That's where I get on top of you and I flop around. And I try not to hit you with my tusks. Or, or. <laughs> We've been watching, you know, like, like Nemo and stuff. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Nemo. Nemo. And flop, flop, flop. One, Finding Dory. And stuff. That's the sound at the end, by the way. In case you're wondering. <laughs> yes, now you got that. I want to spit out, too. Anyway. Uh, Dave. What are you spitting out? The taste of bile in my mouth from that particular image I just invoked. I thought you were spitting style. Out. I don't know what you're doing. No. Gangnam style? What? Yeah. Gangnam, Gangnam style! Gang. Mm -hmm. Or in some, style. this case, gangrene style. Hello! It's rotting from the inside out. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're anyway, doing. Anyway, uh, don't operate heavy machinery to drive a car for any influence of alcohol and excessive drinking can cause health problems. You're welcome. The reason we try these different beers is we believe that you should drink great beers. Hey, by the way, people. In memoriam for Roger Moore, by the way, because he died this week. Yeah. He was the ultimate James Bond. Right. Well, more or less. And, yes, I liked him a lot. Like that. And you should have a good laugh, too, with your friends where you're drinking, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Thank you very much, everybody. Died this week. Love you all. Everybody dies. Not everybody really lives. Yes. yes. But there's always Doesn't been a drink. Doesn't that something to do with Conan? Hey. And a here in the lamentation of the women. No, that was from Braveheart. And the hair and lamentation of the women, too, by the way. One time. That was cool. One movie you didn't think Mel Gibson was a dickhead. Anyway. No, he's been using the God Good movies. He had one giant rant, and everybody remembers him. Yeah, well, fuck him. 
Damn, now I gotta put a PG R rating on this. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave.